So this is the actual implant itself. Okay, this sits just underneath your chin, just like that. This electronic chip could be life-changing for Natalie. She stops breathing in her sleep up to 30 times an hour, then gasps for air. It's called sleep apnea, a serious disorder that raises the risk of stroke and heart disease because of low oxygen levels. But the chip, which stimulates a critical nerve, could bring relief for her and her husband. He's, he's afraid I'm going to die. He, he says it sounds awful. It sounds like you're really choking and gasping. So um, as soon as I heard about this new technology, this um, implant where it, apparently a pulse pushes your tongue forward, I was very interested because everything I've tried hasn't worked. Natalie is one of the first in the country to be fitted with the implant. Surgeons at University College London hospitals make a small incision under the chin and place the chip on a nerve that controls a muscle in the tongue. When it's switched on, it stimulates the nerve with an electronic pulse, pulling the tongue forward away from the throat, helping patients to breathe. It means that they're able to have better night's rest, able to breathe smoother throughout the night, the aim is so that their sleep apnea improves, so the levels of obstruction and the frequency of obstructions gets better. Eight million men and women in the UK are thought to have sleep apnea. They snore heavily and their airway closes up. At the moment, the standard treatment for sleep apnea is something called CPAP. It's a pump that blows air through a mask down into the airways. It's effective, but as you can imagine, it's not pleasant to be sleeping with this all night. A third of patients give up, and that's why surgeons are so excited about the electronic chip. Olivia Rushton was fitted with another nerve stimulator in June. Her tongue moves out the way, just as it should when the device is activated. Interruptions to her breathing while she sleeps have dropped by almost two-thirds. I look forward to going to bed now, whereas I didn't look forward to going to bed before. It, it's, no, it's knowing that all I have to do is switch it on and I will go into a much healthier, longer, deeper sleep. These are early days for nerve-stimulating chips and surgeons are carefully selecting patients likely to benefit the most but the results can be remarkable. Some sleep so soundly they even start to dream for the first time in years. Thomas Moore, Sky News. It's all really positive. I'm looking forward.